Hello, it's Jason from VEMS. Um, I know you guys have been waiting for this for a while. I got this last week. It's the V3MS Dash from Thomas in uh, Slovakia. And I've uh, just been so busy trying to get orders out and get this well, local car install running and finished. Um, I haven't had time to open it. So I'm just going to do that just now on Christmas Eve. So. here all right so there's cable pack the remote control select the menus I think that's an option Uh, it's like a controller. Nice case. It's a plastic case, but it's really well well made. Oh, there's a data logger for the SD card. Uh, LED for logging. Maybe it's just a logging module. Nice. Go a little further, very well packed. You can see the uh, USPS, I think, played some football with it during the World Cup. Yeah, they did a, Thomas did a really good job packing this. That foam on the screws, great idea. So there it is. Wow. Is the back of it? front of it. It is really nice. It's better than I expected. What's this here? Looks like a plug. Oh, another SD card. Yeah, the power connector, control connector. Yeah, this is really nice. Uh, let me get it set up on, on the bench with an ECU and uh, see how it looks. Before I get it set up, I just wanted to go through this cable. Um, it's like a 24 pin connector, FCI style. So it's a big cable for the communication to the dash. Nice connector on it. Looks like it's well strained, leafed, and sealed. Power and ground, very, very ample supply. It's a 16 gauge or thereabouts, maybe 18 gauge with thick insulation. Um, well labeled, switched power and vehicle ground. And then serial connector to the ECU. And after that, uh, we got this control, nuts for the studs, pins, and SD card adapter. So this is to update the GUI apparently. SD card adapter for the GUI update. Yeah, looks like just an extension. So you put the F SD card in here, and has a, a long recess in the onto the PCB. So nice. That's a nice touch. With a case like this, it's hard to get the PCB right at the edge. You probably don't want it at the edge anyway. Um, so that's that's nice getting that little extension. So let's get over to the bench and power it on. Okay, the family's almost ready for me to be home, so just wanted to make this quick. I want to power it on, show you guys 
what it looks like. Um, check it out. So we got the control box plugged in. Uh, as you can see here, get the control connector for the keypad, the main cable to the control box. Let's see. That should look good for you guys. Um, I'll bring the camera closer and zoom in a little bit later. So I got a 12 volt um, adapter here, and I just put a little adapter on the two positive and ground wires. So here we go. Nice. All right, so this is street page. Let's see what this does. So up and down controls the brightness. All right, switches pages. All left is mute, looks like. Oh, a lot of data right there. Nice. So okay. Oh, okay gives you like a setup menu. Set the time and date. I noticed there's a real-time clock battery on the back. Um, set the default brightness. Start page. Oh, you can change the orientation of this in case you can't have the cable down. That's nice. LEDs, their functions, nice. change the gauges okay so here we get the uh, the range of the RPM gauge and the map sensor fuel level calibration for the fuel gauge nice this is set up really well calibrate the temperature channels those are the ones that are directly input into this KPA or PSI or bar. Nice. So I guess this would be the only one I would change is the speed or miles per hour. Otherwise I'm I'm familiar with the scientific units. Alarms. Oh, that's a nice touch. They have the battery voltage warning or alarm for it. It has no RPM, so ignition on, engine off, and then also again when it's over 600 RPM, so when it's running. Data logs. So this will be where your data logs show up if you got the logger option. This is really nice. I can't wait to check it out on uh, ECU. But I'll have to wait for a different day for that one. Um, see, I think that's about it. I'll get home to my family and uh, have a great Christmas, everyone, if you're watching this real, almost real time. Um, otherwise, if you're watching it in the future, have a great day. Thanks.